Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey Stecky. Thank you so much for coming back. And if you haven't already, please, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Today, we're gonna to be talking about wedge shred. Now, I know wedge shred or shredding for the wedding is a common term, and I know it can have some negative connotation around it, but I just want to say up front that I do not think you have to lose weight for a wedding at all. I just personally wanna transform my body a little bit more before my wedding. And I just want to challenge myself to do something and to stick to it for super long. So, wedge shred. Shredding for the wedding. Losing weight and gaining muscle for my wedding. My wedding is exactly 100 days from today. Oh, I'm so excited. And yes, I am already married. Legally, we went to the courthouse, got married, but we've never had a wedding. And I'm so excited. I just can't wait to finally like feel like a bride and get to walk down the aisle. And I'm, oh, I'm so excited. I cannot wait. But like I said, there is only 100 days left till the wedding. So today I wanted to do my wedge shred intro video, kind of talk you guys over my goals, my game plan, my beginning stats and where I'd like to be at the end. And then once a month up until the wedding, there'll probably be like four of them. I will do like an update video, show you guys um, any progress that I've made, talk about my diet, everything like that. So I have my planner here and basically this is where all of my wedge shred notes are. I have all of this in my phone as well, just in case I don't have my planner on me. But this is my planner. It's got all my wedge shred notes in it. So we're just gonna start from the top and head down. So basically the timeline of wedge shred for me is 16 weeks, which is a decent amount of time if you think about it. Like I have, I have some good possibilities that I can make happen in the next 16 weeks. And 16 weeks being it's April 1st through July 22nd. I did technically start like mid-March but we weren't, it wasn't like I wasn't actually legitimately counting it, but I did start mid-March-ish, but my real dates are April 1st through July 22nd. My goals in this wedge shred is I do have some numeric goals, which I just wanna preface that I know and everyone else should feel this way, is that the, the number on the scale literally does not matter. It really doesn't your body composition is so much more complex than just how much you weigh on the scale. So even though I, I do personally have a weight goal and I have a waist goal and I have a body fat percentage goal, that that is not the most important thing in this. The most important thing in this for me is that I'm challenging myself and I wanna feel stronger by my wedding. Okay, so goals, we're gonna list them here on the screen. My first goal is to be around 128 pounds. I would be okay 128, 129, 130. Anything pretty much lower than 128, I really do want to stay away from because I do realize that with my body type, anything lower than that is going to be borderline unhealthy. So anywhere between 128, 130, maybe even 131, that's my goal. Um, and then my next, next goal is basically just overall fat reduction. I do have, we all have it, I have a little extra fat on my body that I would like to not be there. And I know that I am by no means overweight, I know that, but there is just some parts of my body that I would just like to slim down a tiny bit. My next goal is just muscle visibility. I would just like to be mostly in my upper body. I have pretty visible muscles in my legs. My legs lean out really fast. I don't know why. They lose fat the fastest. So if I do like two days a week of legs in like three weeks, my legs will pretty much be like completely muscly. So I'm really focusing on my upper body in this because in my dress, my upper body is what's mostly exposed. So I would like to just have a little bit more visibility in like my shoulders and my biceps and my triceps. My next goal is another numeric one, and it's basically just to have a 27 inch waist. I typically sit at a 27 inch waist. When I went home to the States for two weeks, I'm not gonna lie, it really did mess up my body because I was just eating like crap. I didn't work out for two weeks. So my waist did gain a little bit. Um, so I would just like to go back to my normal size waist, which is 27 inches. And then my last goal is to be at an overall body fat percentage of anywhere from 19 to 21. All right, let's talk about my rules and my game plan and all of this and how I'm gonna actually achieve it. So my first rule is no alcohol, which isn't very hard for me because I'm not a big drinker to begin with. So I don't really have a problem being like, oh my God, I can't have alcohol for 16 weeks. I don't really mind. I just don't wanna drink alcohol because it really does lead to excess fat on your body. So I'm just not drinking alcohol. My next rule, and I say rule because I have broken it and I probably will continue to break it but in a smarter way is no Red Bull. I have a serious 
addiction to Red Bull. It's actually, it's not like actually a problem, but to me it's a problem and I need to stop. So I am still drinking Red Bulls on occasion, but I am switching over to the sugar-free ones, which will be better, but I'm trying my best not to drink Red Bull. Like I would literally have two Red Bulls a day if I could, but like recently I've probably had like maybe three every week. My next goal is to just eat whole foods. No fast food, no really processed food, just whole foods, meats, eggs, veggies, fruits, just whole foods. My next goal is to have four meals a day and to be in daily calorie deficit. Now, if you go back and you watch my tips from a CPT on fat loss, you will know that the literal only way to lose fat is to be in a calorie deficit. I have been in a consistent calorie deficit for a few, maybe like two weeks now, and I've already lost quite a lot of weight. As for game plan, my game plan on all of this is that I'm going to be going to the gym four times a week. So I'm going to be doing two upper days, a lower day, and a full body day. On top of that, I'm also going to be working out at home twice a week, more like cardio-based stuff, like not really weight stuff, like burpees and jump squats and box jumps and like stuff like that. More cardio-based, get my heart rate elevated, stuff like that. And then my last game plan is to just run a mile once a week. I suck at running. It is definitely not my strong suit. Cardio is not my strong suit. Um, so I just wanna try once a week to just run a mile. On top of me going to the gym four times a week, at the end of every lift, I've been doing 30 minutes of cardio training, which it's usually just like the sit down bike where I just sit there and I pedal for 30 minutes and I listen to music or I edit a video. So when I go to the gym, it's like 45 minutes lifting and then 30 minutes of cardio. Now, let's go over my starting stats. This is a little hard for me because I am not completely confident in my body and I know as a personal trainer, I really should be, and I know that like, it really doesn't matter, and I know my stuff, and I'm strong, and I feel good, but I am definitely not the most confident in my body, so this is just gonna be a little bit hard, but we're gonna go over my starting stats. So starting my waist, I'm at a 30. My neck, I'm at a 13. I don't really anticipate that to change much because I just have a small neck. Um, my hips are at a 38. Again, that usually doesn't change. I'm usually always a 38 hip because that's my bone structure. Um, my bust is about a 33. My upper, th I am doing my thighs as well, so my thigh is 23.5. That one is like a big one for me. I hate my legs, so I'd like to get that down like maybe two inches. Um, my bicep is 11 inches around. My starting weight was 148.7. My BMI was 24.6 and my body fat percentage was 28.3. Now, back like I said in my goals, my goal weight is anywhere from 128 to 130, my goal waist is 27, and my body fat percentage goal is from 19 to 21. So I do have my work cut out for me, but I have been doing pretty well. And the last time I weighed myself, I was already down to 145.7, so I've already lost three pounds in two weeks. On top of everything else we just talked about, I actually am going to show you guys how I um, am tracking my food and my calories. So I have this notebook here. So my planner is this one. All of my work notebooks look like this. And then this is my food journal. So let's go back to the day we started. I've counted calories before, so this is pretty full. But when it comes to the day we actually like started, wed shred um, was about... Um, that was March 27th. So as you'll see on March 27th, I weighed 148.7. Um, I do like a burn goal and an eat goal every day and I try to keep it pretty like, I try to keep my deficits from 500 to 750. Um, this day was my first day and I didn't deficit. I actually surplused 20 calories. So that was not good. But every single day I just write down my breakfast, my lunch, my snack, or my dinner. If I have a snack, I don't always have a snack. And then at the end of the day, I do my total, and then I do my burn, and then I figure out my deficit. And then all these little pink tabs are the days that I'm weighing in. That is another big tip for any of my clients. I know people can get really obsessed with the number on the scale, and it can be really disheartening because weight loss isn't linear. It's not gonna always be going down. You're gonna fluctuate, you're gonna go down, you're gonna go up, you're gonna go down, you're gonna go up. It's just normal, that's how our bodies work. Um, so I personally will get addicted to the scale and I will feel really shitty about myself every single day and I'll step on the scale every day and be like, what the heck, why do I weigh that much, blah, blah, blah. So within this wedge shred, I've actually scheduled out all of the days that I'm allowed to weigh myself. 
So every pink tab on here is the day that I'm allowed to weigh myself. I was actually supposed to weigh myself yesterday, but I am on my uh, time of the month right now. So me knowing that I'm on that, I know that I'm bloated, so I'm gonna weigh even more. So I just skipped out for this week. So I'll weigh myself again in two weeks. Now, so far, is my diet the best? No, but am I going to restrict myself from having things that I know I enjoy? No, for me, as long as I am in the calorie deficit that I would like to be in, and I am eating mostly good food every day, I'm gonna allow myself to have Doritos or to have a cupcake. I'm gonna allow myself those things because if I don't, I will go crazy. So for example, like this day, okay? This is not one of my best days. Today wasn't one of my best days. But this day, for breakfast, I had coffee and Doritos. Is that the best combination? No. But my coffee was 175 calories. My Doritos, I made sure I portioned it out and I only had 150 calories with the Doritos. My lunch, I had three boiled eggs and a salad. That was 234 calories. I had a Red Bull, it was 190. And then for dinner, we had fettuccine alfredo, which was 400, and I had a few glasses of wine, which was 300. So I did break my no alcohol thing, but this was technically before my April 1st start date, so don't come for me, it's the only time I've done it. And on this day, I ate a total of 1,449 calories, and I burned a total of 2,140 calories, so I did a deficit of 691, which is within my range. So you can see that no, I didn't eat the best foods today, but I am still within my deficit range, so I'm not gonna get negative on myself about having Doritos for breakfast, because some days I wake up and I want Doritos for breakfast, and that's fine. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of my introduction to my Wedge Shred series. I will be updating you guys most likely once a month, so there will probably be four Wedge Shred videos to come where I will show you guys progress and like talk about my diet and all that fun stuff. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, it would mean the world to me. Follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys next time. Bye.